Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. This is the updated video for hosting your Discord Python bot for free using Replit and Uptime Robot. Let's get into the video. To get started, open a web browser of your choice. We're going to head over to www.m692.eu. Once my website has loaded, we're going to go over to the top, hover over resources and click on discord.py bot hosting. Once this page loads, we're going to select new code as this is the updated video. These are the websites we're going to use today, and all the source code is below here. First, click on replit.com and wait for the page to load. This is where we'll host and edit our code. Sign up for an account and then log in. Once you've signed in, it should take you to a page that looks a bit like this. We're going to make sure our sidebar is opened up and then we're going to click create. First, we're going to select a template here, and we're going to select Python. You can set the title to whatever you want. Select Create REPL. Once your REPL has been created, you should get a page a bit like this. It should have already created a main.py file for you, but if it hasn't, click the Add File button here and name it main.py. Now's the time to import your own bot code if you've already written a bot. You can upload files and folders here and create new ones here. If you haven't written a bot yet, you can go back to my website and there's a whole source code for a bot here. This has even got the hosting lines that have already been added. But because I've already written a simple bot, I'm going to paste it in the main.py file. But to get this hosting ready, we need to add some lines. If you go back to my website and find the first main.py section, we can see that we need to add these lines to the top of main.py. If we copy those, we can paste this underneath our imports. We go back to my website and we see there's also something we have to place at the bottom of main.py. Copy that and make sure we replace your client.run function. Like so. Next, we're going to add your token. As REPLs are public, we need to protect your token. We do this by adding a secret or an environment variable. To do so, go over to the Secrets Environment Variables tab here. We're going to create a new secret, and for the key, we're going to type in discord underscore bot underscore secret, just like it says here, all in caps. Now we need to get your token. I'm going to create a new bot on the Discord Applications page, and I'll show you how to do that too. But if you've already got your token, paste it in here, and you can skip this step. If we go back to my website and scroll up, this is the Discord Developers page. You'll need to log in with Discord. Once you've logged in, click New Application, and you can name it whatever you like. Click Create. Once that's loaded, you can select an app icon, Create a description, add tags, but none of that's necessary if you don't want to. We're going to go over to the bot tab on the left, then click add bot. Select yes, do it. And now we've got our bot created. You can select the bot icon here. Now we're going to copy our token. If you go back to replit, we can paste it in the value box here. Click add new secret. If you want to edit your token again, you just have to go back to the Secrets tab and click on it, edit it, then save it. Now we've got to add one last file. Go back to the Files tab on Replit, then click Add File. We're going to name this file webserver.py. Press Enter to create it. If we go back to my website and scroll down, we can see this is the webserver.py code. Copy that and paste it in the file. I'm just removing unnecessary line breaks. Now that we've got all the code done, we need to do one last thing, which is go to back to my website and go to the Uptime Robot website. We'll need to register an account and then log in. Once you've logged in, you should get a page looking a bit like this. This is your account dashboard. To get started, we're going to click on Add New Monitor and select the monitor type as HTTP. 
we're going to create a friendly name, which is basically just the name of the monitor. You can name it whatever you like. Now for the URL or IP. We're going to go back to Replit and click Run. We're going to wait for everything to install and get set up. Okay, so so long as there are no errors in your code, it should all execute correctly and then create a web page here. It should say I'm alive and that's the web server running. It will give us this link here, which we can copy. Basically, Uptime Robot will open this link every so often and that will keep this running. Go back to Uptime Robot and paste that in the URL section here. Select the monitoring interval as low as you can go, which is 5 minutes at the moment. You don't need to select anything else. Then click Create Monitor. You can close this here, and as you can see, our monitor is being created. You usually need to wait a little bit before it starts pinging your bot, but you can reload the page to check. As you can see, I reloaded the page and it's just pinged at once. If we go back to the Discord developer portal and invite our bot to our server, OAuth URL generator, select the bot scope and then any permissions you need. If we copy that link and then invite our bot to our server, We can now see that the bot's in the server, and that it's running online. Now we can test the command that I added in, which is exclamation mark help. It should send a message to our DMs, send a message in the channel itself, and in the DMs it should be an embed. As you can see, it's all working properly. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please consider liking and subscribing if it really has helped you out. If you need any help, please join my Discord server, link in description, and I'll see if I can help you out with that. I'd like to thank my Patreon, Maxi Kipstevitz, for supporting me. If you guys would like to support, link in description. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.